Hi, my name is Primo Galicia. I'm one of the officers here at the Baskets Food Inc. Natural Food Processor Plant in Lincoln, Nebraska. And I'm sitting down with you guys today to kind of go over a couple of things that you can expect to see on our YouTube channel. The reason that we decided to have a natural food processing plant versus having a edible food like substance uh, plant. Now you may say, what is the difference between a natural food and an edible food like substance? So let's start by me sharing my screen and kind of showing you what an edible food like substance actually is. Because a natural food, and sometimes you'll see the government says, well, we don't give a classification between natural and what is edible food like substance. But in the categories of running a facility, when you're underneath the code of 2033, there is a big distinction. So let's look at what has changed in our food sources and the reason why we stick to natural foods or what I would like to call here loan foods, foods that are not microcultures, foods that are the seeds that can reproduce themselves that have not been altered by me or any other scientist that deal in either botany or organic chemistry or DNA splicing. So I, I just wanna just tell you this right now as we get ready to go and what you can expect is we just, we're just not gonna talk about products that we sell, but how the products that we sell and how the things that we don't sell and what are those things that we may not even manufacture now, but one day we may, how you need it for your body and what you don't need for your body. So if you've never been on our channel before, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'm gonna share my screen and kind of walk you through the journey of explaining to you how it all started, what it all is, how you can be affected by it, and the importance of the gene technology. Because if you're not familiar with that, then I, I think it's important for you to know what is the Terminator gene. So let's look at what the Terminator gene is, give a little brief description here. Genetic use restriction technology, also known as Terminator technology or suicide seeds, is the name of given to proposed methods of restricting the use of genetically modified crops by actively activating some gene only in response to certain stimuli, especially to cause second generation seeds to be unfertile. So let's go here, kind of look at what we're getting at. So what is the Terminator gene technology? The Terminator gene is a specific genetic sequence inserted by the scientists into seed DNA that renders the seed and the crop it produced sterile. The seed company initiated the Terminator process before selling the seed by adding an inducer. Farmers plant seeds, grow plants, and harvest mature, but the, sterols, the, but the seeds are sterile. Patented by the US in Delta and Pine land company, now owned by Monsanto's, this Terminator technology has no agriculture or economic benefit for farmers or consumers, except to protect intellectual property rights and to squeeze more money out of dependent farmers. So we see that this does not have, now you may say, well, wait a minute, what is a Terminator gene? What are some fruits? Anything that's seedless, anything that cannot regrow itself. So let's look at the Delta and land. Company of Scots, Mississippi. Now, in 1920 to 1930, the company operated one of the largest cotton plantations in the Mississippi Delta, with headquartered in Scots, Mississippi. A lot of you may not know, but all of these seedless plants, especially the John Burroughs lime that you find that was uh, manufactured and created, this all started. And this is why you see the cotton and soybeans are, are now all modified because it was actually owned by cotton plantation. The cotton plantation was the one who created the terminator gene. Now it sounds familiar, if that doesn't ring a bell, we're going back into a, a part of dependency where it can hold captive. So a lot of this seedless fruit is now instead of humans being held captive and being controlled, it is now fruits and vegetables now are in a, a, a really interesting situation where they're controlled in a form of food slavery. And what do I mean by food slavery? Because most people are not eating natural foods. They're not eating foods that actually are being pollinated. They're, be, they're eating foods that are actually being modified in the lab. See, just like you have a computer, a guy who is a computer programmer, 
back in the day, a computer programmer was a person who made a software in through your computer that you can use. Now we call individuals who computer programmers, they have two titles. They can either be a computer programmer or they can be a computer hacker. Again, a computer hacker creates a program, but this program doesn't allow you 100% in safety of utilizing your information. It actually is created to steal from you. Well, in the micro gut floor of your stomach, that's what's happening because the question needs to be asked, wait a minute, in 1920, 1930, this company operated one of the largest cotton plantations in the Mississippi Delta with headquartered in Scotts, Mississippi. Now, all of a sudden, they created their technology which they sold to Monsanto's, and this all took place in 1998 because the Glass-Steagall Act was passed. As we talked about in 1998, the Glass-Steagall Glass um, Act was passed underneath uh, Bill Clinton. And when Bill Clinton was the president, he allowed companies who would have normally went out of business, who were trying to hang on to their last leg, to be able to patent food. And what you had to do was be able to genetically splice and incorporate anything that man could do. And they turned food into the same thing that pharmaceutical was. Now, what is pharmaceuticals? Pharmaceuticals are things that are mimicking natural plants, but it is made in the lab. Now food is made in the lab as well. So because of that, when you hear the word organic, organic doesn't mean natural. It just means no herbicides or pesticides are incorporated in that crop. But the question I would tell you is, is it incorporated with the terminator gene? Now, let's go a little bit deeper. Let's find out, you know, this question, because I think this question is important. Are humans beings affected by the terminator gene? Now, you may say to yourself, I eat, you know, I don't like no seeds in anything. Well, that means if it doesn't have a seed, it doesn't have a defense system. So it may cause health hazards for animals as well as human beings because it has been treated with some chemicals before sowing. There is a danger of this technology affecting unattended targets. It is possible that these plants would transfer pollen to nearby wild type crops and cause sterilization in their seeds too. A lot of Americans may not want to do it, but one of the things I want to do is a documentary on is the terminator gene causing women to be sterile in the US or men. We have now faced ourselves by our food supply being put into a food scarcity position where microcultures, which are not natural things, a microculture doesn't even exist in nature. Without man's continual effect, you would not even see a lot of these microcultures we see today because it would, they wouldn't be able to exist. We now have some different bacteria and mold and fungus that's attacking, especially the banana industry. The banana industry, and you, you will talk about that as well. But I wanted to begin to Pique your curiosity, if you ever came on our channel before, don't forget to like, subscribe, that as we begin to not just produce food, but to educate on it, I think the most important thing is to understand how your lymphatic, how your digestive system operates, also how does the body assimilate, we're talking about through the rest and digest process. And on this channel, not just because we manufacture natural foods, we also want to explain to you how your body works. If you understand how your body works, you can also understand how your body is changing. That's right. Some of the food that you're putting in your system is changing the way that your microflora in your gut is actually functioning. And we're starting to see a lot of what we call diseasing of the microflora. You guys know it as the word called disease, but it's actually really called dis easing. There's an easing that's going on in the body, which is causing the body to show different signs and reflections. Now, I need to be careful because whenever you put something on YouTube, even if you are an officer, even if you can provide scientific evidence, we do know that this is still the cancel culture. We have no need to place anything that's going to put on YouTube to affect our relationship with YouTube, as well as to put any information that affect our relationship with you. But what we will do is begin to introduce you to, like we introduced you to today, the terminated gene. You need to be fully aware because a lot of the grain and wheat that you're eating is incorporated with the terminated gene, which means it's sterile. It's a sterile plant. Whenever you have a sterile plant, it's a problem with its actual system. Remember, everything is made to reproduce. Think about it. Everything. If you cannot reproduce, you cannot colonize. You cannot multiply. 
you would just need assistance, period. I mean, we now live in society that people actually say that's okay. It's okay if, if scientists become what they now call biohacks. Well, as a scientist myself, I would 100% disagree. That was never the rule of the position that any of us took when we went to school to become and get our degree studies. That, that wasn't what we were doing. We wasn't trying to become hackers of the human body. We were just wanted to study some of the things from the diseasing of the microflora, not disease, but a dis, then the word easing. It's important to understand if you have a, like a dislocated shoulder, that shoulder is out of place. When the microflora is out of place, it is a dislocation. Well, if you was to think about going into a garage, one of those big garages that have a chain that you will pull up the garage door, bay door, and if you just pull that bay door up with that chain and just leave enough space where mice, any type of animal can get in and you'll see some light piercing when the lights are all dark on the inside from outside if it's broad daylight, that is what's happening in the microflora of your overall body. You have a dislocation or a diseasing, which means the door is open. The body can only heal when it's in the rest of digest and the door is closed. Well, keep that in mind as we begin to explore and talk more. And this is not the first time you'll probably see a video before we actually begin to suit the documentary. I just wanted to give a warm welcome to all who have just found out about The Basket is Full Ink, a natural food processing plant here in Lincoln, Nebraska. But most importantly, that not all scientists are hacking your system. Because most of us have chose to keep our career path the way it was designed to do, to appreciate the body, not to change it, and definitely not to become kitchen chefs before the real chef, you and your family, begin to cook your food. We have already affected your food. Well, thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe to like, and I look forward to seeing you as we begin to work on a documentary called The Terminator Gene and How It Affects You. Thank you.